All right, hi everybody, hope you're doing well. So in this video I want to talk about how to make these awesome animations using Neural Style Transfer and the program called EVSynth. So what this program does is giving a frame that is stylized, either by hand or like in this example using a machine learning algorithm, it recreates the next frames using the reference frames and the actual frame that needs to render. I think it uses some kind of optical flow and some other techniques, but I'm not really sure. Either way, the results are quite good. So how the pipeline works is as follows. We first grab a video and we break it down into its frames. Then we choose a frame. This step varies a lot, but I like to grab a frame that has a lot of information and also is in the middle of the sequence. Also, if you, there's a cut in the video, you need to grab another frame for that cut. Or at least I recommend doing that so you get the best results. Then we process that frame with a style transfer model, giving it a particular style that we choose. I covered this process in another video, but we're basically going to use a program that I'm going to leave in the description. And of course, all the other things are going to be there. Then to finally render the new video, we use EVSynth to put all the things together. We need to make sure we put the right keyframes and sequence. So let's see. Now let's go over to a walkthrough of how to do this. Let's see the basic pipeline and uh, how to put all the things together. So if we break down the video into frames, we can do this with Premiere if you have that or with an online tool like uh, this one, Easy GIF. We download the frames and we should have something like this. All right, now we select a frame. For example, I'll select two frames one for the beginning because he has the front of the horse and another leg in the middle because he has more of the face of the horse. Now we use this program to stylize the frames. All right, so we're in the style transfer program. This is a collab, a service that Google gives us that gives us a virtual machine with a GPU that we can use for machine learning algorithms to run them and to play with them. Also to do some, some research, but here we're basically running this machine learning model to create style stylized images with a style transfer model. So first we connect to a virtual machine here, as you can see, we are connected. Then we are basically going to, then we're going to basically run the cells given in the play button here. Then the important part here is to select uh, our inputs and the style image in the setup cell. So here for the content image, we need to select three options. We select either for an unsplash direct link or a local file that we need to upload to the virtual machine. For the unsplash, we need to give an ID that I'm going to show you in a moment. Direct link is a neural error from the image, and a login file is from the virtual machine. So if you run from the unsplash image, so you go to an unsplash image and you click open image in a new tab. Then you select the ID of the image here, and then you copy in the content image if you want an unsplash image. In your case, we're going to be using a local file. So we need to upload the keyframes that we selected. We do this by dragging the images to the folder here. We do okay here. I want to do it in in this area and not in this folder because uh, it's important from the path of the image. Here, what we do is write the name of the file that we want to stylize. In this example, we're going to be doing two files. Once the first file is done, remember to go runtime and restart runtime to restart the memory of the virtual machine and start from zero. So first, we do the first image. Then for the style image is the same thing. Here, for example, we're going to select an unsplash ID. So we select this image and we put it here. Also, you can connect your Google Drive and save your images directly to there. Here's the step to, to mount the Google Drive. We, we go to this URL, we copy the code that Google gives us, and we enter here. Nice. Now we are connected to the Google Drive. Now we just run all the cells. Here we can select the output quality. Sweet, and we can see the content image and the style image. Now we just now we just run the following cells. All right, so after the program run, uh, we should have this result. Now we're going to see how to use the EVSynth program to stylize the whole sequence. So here we are in the EVSynth program. You're going to select the keyframes, then the original video frames, then optional is a mask, but we're not going to do that in this one. Then we're going to select the keyframes. For example, here we're going to have two keyframes, one from the beginning and one from sort of in the middle. Then here is a little bit, uh, you can play with this because here's the start and the end of the keyframe. For example, we have the sequence here and we can start at the keyframe that we have here 
the the zero keyframe and we can go to the next keyframe that is the 226 that is here or we can go end in a previous one for example the 200 here and then start the new keyframe to the 200 uh, so if it's in the screen to go from the frame that you give backwards towards the frame that you selected for now we're going to keep it simple so we're going to select the zero frame and it's going to stop to 226 i'm going to give the 226 frame and stop it at the 239 frame all right so now that we have here that uh, we're going to select the keyframes so here we have the keyframes so it needs to have the same name format that the original frames that the, the video i think the extension doesn't matter so this is going to work perfectly we open one of these and it should see that the sequence is here with the numbers the numbers are the important part then we select the original video here in the sequence as i said you can make this with Premiere or an online tool, whatever tool that makes you chop a video in frames. We select one of these and if it seems show uh, recognize the sequence. Now we have the keyframes and we need to select the output for each keyframe. Here we select uh, whatever folder and the same for the other keyframe. And we go either Runo or Synth. I'm not going to record this because it takes a lot of power to generate the images. So I see you with the final result. All right, so finally, when EV Synth does its magic, you should have all of this, all the frames of your new sequence. Now we can go to Premiere or another program and make that sequence. Let's see how to do this in Premiere. All right, so making the video or GIF for the image sequence is super easy with Premiere. I, I'm doing this with this program because it's the program that I use, but you can use whatever program you want. So first of all, we double click import here and we select the first keyframe of the image sequence and we make sure that this image sequence checkbox is checked and we hit open. And we show our video here. We can drag it here. And as you can see here, we have our thingy. Uh, you can do multiple things here. You can duplicate it and hit Ctrl R and reverse the speed and make it so it repeats. So yeah, there you can make it a little bit longer. So then you basically go file and export media and then you go hit the export. Make sure you uh, like the settings. I'm not really that an expert here, so I I always leave it at the, uh, the default setting. So yeah. All right, and now we should have cool animations. Let's see a couple that I made. You can also reverse the animation to make it a little bit longer. And if you have some skills in Photoshop or in another image editing software, you could make multiple cell transfer and sort of crop the stuff that you you don't want and make it so you have a stylized image for an animation that you want to do. And that's about it. I hope you like it. If you do, subscribe. And that's it for me. I see you in the next one. Bye.